This is Western Mass News. We're getting answers after white supremacist flyers were found in Westfield. The city's police department confirming that one organization left flyers in the Western Avenue neighborhood. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 6 on this Tuesday. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnavali. Joining us live now is Western Mass News reporter Kristen Vernell. Kristen, how is the city taking action on this? Chris and Abby, according to Westfield Police, the organization that left the fires in that neighborhood also conducted similar activities all over New England, including in neighboring New East Hampton. We don't have any room for hate in the city of Westfield. An investigation is underway after several of these white supremacist flyers were found in Westfield on Monday. You're walking fine lines between, you know, things like littering, trespassing, First Amendment rights. Um, fortunately for the city of Westfield, we have a city ordinance that doesn't allow for people to distribute flyers in that method. So there's a $300 fine if caught uh, for each event. So, you know, we're trying to figure out who's who. And uh, so the police department's looking into it. Westfield police say they were found in neighborhoods in the Western Ave area. They were found in small plastic bags weighted with small stones and likely thrown from a vehicle. The city's mayor, Michael McCabe, speaking with Western Mass News about the incident, saying it also happened in East Hampton. It was really unfortunate that it happened. Um, and it was their messaging on how to kind of build their following. The flyers appear to belong to the Nationalist Social Club 131 New England, a neo-Nazi group focused on recruitment efforts in the region. Mayor McCabe tells us he believes the flyers were put out in response to the possibility of housing migrants at Westfield State University, something Governor Moore Healy's office says is still an option as the state deals with a migrant crisis. The messaging was, you know, if you're a, if you're a white male from European extract, um, please join us. Um, you know, other people are taking over New England and we don't want that to happen. That's kind of the sum and substance of it. Um, but really, it's, it, it's not welcome. Now, the Anti-Defamation League has also re received an increase in reports of anti-Semitic propaganda, this following an unexpected attra attack by Hamas in Israel over a week ago. They tell us in a statement in part, quote, ADL's audit of white extremist propaganda indicated that Massachusetts ranked second in the nation just behind Texas in white extremist propaganda activity. Often these bags include messages to recruit new members to their hate spreading ranks. And if you are a recipient of these, we urge you to understand the hate behind the message and to report to local law enforcement and ADL. We also reached out to the organization thought to be tied to the flyers, but have not yet heard back. Reporting live at studio, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News. Kristen.